We got Duda. He done popped up at the hospital. Jake is handcuffed. Trig is in there going nuts, wanting to go get some street justice. When Duda wanted to get uh, regular folks justice, and he forces this cop to unhandcuff Jake. Talk to me about this scene, my brother. What was you thinking? And then we get to the last scene of the night. I think that uh, Jake and Trig is on some bull. Like, why are they mad at Duda for something that Jake did? Duda had nothing to do with it. You should have been like, when you should have been snapping on the police. You know who this is? Right here, this the mayor's son. You wait till he get here. Your ass is fired. That's what I'd have been doing. Not talking about some, what you doing here? I don't want you. Are you nuts? Like, what yeah. you, you got nothing to do if he's not here. Y'all are screwed. Like, you all should have been happy and appreciating that you got an ace in the hole like Duda. Like, are you a damn fool or what? And Trig was so emotional and crybaby-ish. Um, but he supposed to be hard. Uh, he was getting on my damn nerves in that scene, talking about some I want blood. And he actually said that loud enough for, you know, somebody to Cops hear. To hear. And you, yeah. yeah. And you telling that to the mayor, what you think he about to say? And he said, I don't like this either. What you going to do, suspend them with paint? No, I'm going to kill them. Like, what you thought he going to say? Like, you ain't understanding where you at, what you're saying, and the gravity of the situation. I do like that they calmed their ass down a little bit when he said, take them cuffs off of them. Do you know who I am? Take it off for I had you busted down the crossing guard, biatch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up. And so they, they calmed down a little bit. But but they should have never got all up in arms and had their little, uh, you know what I'm saying, speedos in a bunch. Because yeah, uh, they was tripping, man. I, I would have loved to have had the mayor... Do you know the mayor of Chicago? That's like the third largest city in the U.S. Yeah. The mayor of Chicago has notoriously been, you know, ties to crookedness, which ain't right. good. Right. Chicago, a crooked politician city. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, you know, Mayor Lightfoot has going on. But, you know, anyway, up until I know now, what she got going on. Y'all don't stress her ass the hell out. Hair falling out, eyes bugging out. Every time they show her, she like she's in a catastrophe. So y'all need, need to get some things fixed down there. Her hair is great. You right. What she needs is what she out and everything. What she needs is a tailor. She always looks like she's wearing these suits that are like five times too big. I'm like, man, Larry, Larry she looks a tailor. Larry, she looks right. stressed the hell out. And Larry, they it's do. your turn on this one too, my brother. What do you I think just about say this one thing? last quick thing, oh, Mayor Daly. Who yeah. the Daly family like was mayors? His father and him was mayor of Chicago to combine for like fifty years. He had a net worth of a hundred million. What? Mm. So the he mayor. Was so the he, mayor. <laughs> the mayor. The mayor. Right. So who? What mayors have a net worth of a hundred million? You could check out Richard M. Daly net worth mayor of Chicago. Like Mayor Bloomberg had more than that. Yeah. yeah. He had his own well, damn channel. But he. Yeah, mayor Bloomberg is there. Politics only, like Mayor right, Daly right. only was politics. That's it. How you making a right. hundred million? See, right. It's a damn shame they ruined the black man in Detroit who was as crooked as they was, and well, Daly I mean, got away with it. Crooked like the letter I mean, S, right? <laughs> crooked letter, crooked letter, Mississippi. I can't wait for her to come back. Too. That's go, the S. Go get on it, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. This scene here, I mean. It seems silly to me. It's just, it's one of those things where Trigg is just so dumb. This, I don't like yeah. his character. He's just dumb. He's like, he's yeah. like, he just, he comes off as like this, this just in the closet homosexual serial killer. Cause that's all he does. He's wow. in denial about it. He's in denial about his sexuality. Cause yeah. even, even Imani even got on him saying, oh, you can't be like that if we're going to be together, blah, she blah, blah. You I know, and then he runs around that. killing motherfuckers left and right. It's just like he's he's like this closeted homosexual serial killer. It's just like I I, I don't like him. I don't like his character. I'm just and, and the thing that's seemed ridiculous for me is like is like Jake's up there all butt hurt because he saw uh because he saw Duda stomp a dude's uh you know head in and shit. I'm like, what do you think your brother's doing? Right, what do you think right, your brother's running right. around this town doing? So you saw Duda stomp a nigga's head in. So right. what? You think your brother's doing anything better? Right, and he mm -hmm. saw Reg do it. And yeah, right. I was, like, I was just gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. 
I didn't understand no that part, but me. I was like, it's just silly. It's it's yeah. nuts, man. It's nuts. Moochie, I'm gonna give it to you, then we're gonna move on. Give me your thoughts on this situation. I feel like when when they went Trick handled the situation all wrong because that's when he should have been pulling out the A saying, Do you know whose son this is? This is the mayor's son. Exactly. Instead of we don't need you. And with Jake, he didn't even he well, we good. No, you not. You right. handcuffed to a bed. Yeah, you I'm beat good. half to death, handcuffed to a bed, talking no, about we good. good. They sound good. stupid. Right. Yeah. Ain't nothing ain't nothing good about that. Now man. that it's part when Larry talking about um a teenager not knowing how to react to certain things, that's where I agree with that. With him, yeah, with, that with was dumb. situation. Right. How are you good? This is when you bring in somebody like that to, right. to yeah, you know what? I'm a, I, I got somebody for you to handle this. Right. You know what they should have done? But they, they should act like it too. What they should have done is taking control of that narrative. And what they should have said was Chicago police officers attack and beat a black prep school student who is the son of the mayor of Chicago. Right. That exactly. should have been a motherfucking story. It yep. should have been. It should have been. We don't need your help or anything else. It should have been the mayor's son, who is a black prep school student, got attacked and beat and hospitalized by the for Chicago no Police Department. And yep. that is to that is to the extent for which we have a problem that not yep. even our not even our prep school people. So if you're out there and you're black and you think because I make money and I go to a fancy prep school you think that you're protected no you are not because the cops will brutalize you just the same and that's what should have yeah. been the story and the narrative yeah. and, that's, and that's, that's another reason why I didn't like that because i thought i wasn't sure if he was the man yet because the way they handled this no he's he man. no security yeah i'm like if he's the Barely. man how this kid was on your campaign or like with your campaign so when you won you know he was standing there Right, because he was part of he was part of you winning this. Well, they had him in the office by himself, and he won. Whereas they had Lena Waif with her whole campaign people giving a uh, speech about how thank you, but we didn't make it. He didn't even give an acceptance speech. We didn't see it. We didn't see any weird. of that. The, uh, nah. the last thing I remember with who was going to be mayor and who was it was the thing with Gemma's father when he was getting right. ready to, to do the contribution. Right. So you never right. saw the outcome. So I didn't get it. I didn't. I was like, oh, he is the mayor when he said mayor a gangster. That's when I got it. But I'm like, is he the mayor or like, you know, I wasn't really sure. They showed him sitting in his office drinking on a little bit of oil. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, what you call it was there with him. And she was like, he like, yeah, she said something to him at that time about why he didn't show up. He like, why get one brother? When I can own them both. <laughs> right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But he was by himself. Like, you the first black mayor since, like, uh, you know, it's been a while. I, I know it was, uh, I think, Eugene Sawyer after uh, Harold Washington. Anyway, it don't matter. He, mm -hmm. he could have came up. Like, that's a big moment. And mm -hmm. he's sitting in the office by himself. And another thing that I forgot to mention earlier, Kev was stupid talking about delete the video of Jake getting beat. Why? That's what I yep. said. I had a problem. I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter if you had a problem with that too. If you yeah. look at the scene again, there was like three or four people filming. It wouldn't matter if, if she deleted the right. video. It was still going to get out there. Right. Mm -hmm. And Jake was happy when he saw Kev in the hospital and that he told him that because because Jake was mad at Kev because he didn't film it. And he like, well, Maisha did. He like, good. She more ride or die than you. But Kev couldn't have filmed it because he was on the ground too. Which if I was scared, I'd be like, man, how I'm gonna film it? They had me down too. That's they the I, it, it, like this. I don't know. It's just like that. I had part. I had problems with this episode with certain parts. Well, we we might have to collab again, maybe Friday or something, because I have to truncate this because I'm being called. So we're gonna <laughs> get to the last scene right here, which continues from what we're talking about right now. So. The young man who decided to get street justice, and you would think Imani would have been smart enough to talk his ass out of this. I'm talking about Trig. Get street justice, and in the first episode, he kills the police officer that accosted his brother. Um, Larry, this one goes to you first, and we'll end with Jay Moore. Is this going to come back to bite somebody in the butt? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> there's no way in hell that this cop is going to uh, get killed, and there's not going to be there's not going to be, uh, you know, some retribution. I mean, 
having having seen it, and I'll be honest with you, when I first saw this scene, I wasn't sure who it was. I thought it was Maybe. the cop, but I wasn't a hundred percent because they flashed on the face so quick, and I didn't right. go back to watch it again. Well, that's so, what you got me for. Hey, but I got, exactly. I got, I got seen to it, prove my worth. That's what I got to do. That's what you got me have, for. Having seen it and seeing that he that he kills, I don't think he. I don't know if he killed him. I'm assuming he did. I hope he right. doesn't. I mean, no, he I, beat I, him up. I'm sorry, he, he beat, right, beat him right. up. He ain't killed. He beat him. Right, he beat and, him and, him and I feel like I feel like you don't kill someone for beating somebody up. You beat somebody right. up for someone getting beat up. But the problem is, it's just going to escalate. And now that I see this, it makes me wonder. Maybe maybe them, maybe due to getting shot, he ends up getting shot by a cop over over this because it's oh. you know this is all going to go sideways. So maybe he gets shot by a cop over this. But the way they're setting up this whole season with all these with all these internal betrayals and in, inside relationships, I still think he's probably going to get killed or shot. Well, he's probably not going to get killed, but he's probably going to get shot because of his relationship with Tracy. Okay. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, Moochie, break it down for us. What do you think about the final scene of episode one? I don't know why y'all surprised. He, you know, he's like a loose can in this one. Mm-hmm. He's and, not loose cannon. He's just dumb. He doesn't think things. Yeah, he well, can't he think from. Think he things, can't think from A to B. He don't think things through, yeah, and I'm don't. surprised that she didn't think it through either. Because she was the plan of. She orchestrated, that, helped him orchestrate this. Right. That's what I'm saying. What What was so, she thinking? I guess anything to please my man. That's what she was thinking. Okay. She's a dumbass too. Both of them are dumb. I was just about to say that, Larry. They both dumb. That was a uh, dumb move. That yeah, was a dumb I didn't move. think you were going to be mad at them for this. Yeah, and what y'all it didn't make is, sense to me either. This is Tommy from Power, is what y'all saying. A little worse in a way. Because okay. Tommy would have maybe waited a, a nah, day that's the, a little what's the other one than from, the next from day. Power 2? Or the Kanan? same day. No, not Kanan. The, um, the one that's in Power 2 that's, that's with... Um, uh, Tariq. No, no Tariq's Tariq roommate. Oh, you ta you oh, talking Brandon. about Ray J. Bly's son. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to move like Kane. that. Kane. Yeah. yeah, he did a move like King. Yeah, yeah. But I think both, both of them are a bunch of little emotional bitches just up there running around taking people out because they're in their feelings. They don't. Yeah. They just. They, what they need to do is go sit down somewhere, go eat a pint of ice cream, relax, uh, think things through, cream. think things through, and say not everybody's a gym <laughs> junkie. So as some people eat pints of ice cream like me. You know, uh, not everybody, well. I don't have a six pack. I have a 12 pack. But my point is, the dude should have gone somewhere, sat down, relaxed, <laughs> thought things through and figured out what the consequences of this would be and how he could better handle it. And instead, just like dude from from Power Go, you know, from Ghost Power Book 2 or whatever it is, they, they make a dumbass decision that's going to have all kinds of serious blowback on you. Because now you're going to be at war with the entire Chicago Police Department. Mm. And you can't win that war. J -Mo I think, think Dude is going to be mad at them for what they did, too. Absolutely he is. Yeah. Because he's not, think, it's not that he wants to stand. That's against, why it's going to go left. He's not going to want to stand against Trig. I mean, he's not going to want to stand with Trig, but he can't not because it's his son. Right. <laughs> you know? I go think Jay. that uh, last scene was kind of dumb also. And for one, why would that cop, it looked like he was in the same hood that he pulled him over, like where I know a lot of people may not know the geography, but under that train, that's in the hood. So like why, I mean, it does run throughout the city, but it looked like he in the hood, like why is this cop living in the hood? Most cops don't live in the neighborhood they police. And, I was just uh, going to say that too. Yeah. Like, and so with, how I was going to ask you, was the precinct near there? Right. And, and also how he find him so fast that dude i give him that information like how you gonna get to where find out where this cop live and why is he jogging at night unarmed by himself uh when well, i mean know, i don't think he had time to pull that piece the way he got it man i don't know i just think that was a little too perfect for him to just get set up to get yeah. beat up I feel like I feel like if you just got done beating up the mayor's son, it's going to be all over the media. They would have said, yo, you need to be on some serious, you know, head on a swivel type business. Like you need to go somewhere and sit down for a right. couple of months while we work out the details of if you can stay on the job or maybe you need to leave and go to a different department because exactly. you can't beat up the mayor's son and not have some consequences come from that. And, well, right. and the dude's just rolling around. Going. He's just having yeah, a good right. time. Who the hell you know? is jogging? Who the hell is jogging in Chicago in the snow that time of the night? After right. what you done did, 
after right. what you did, which after you know what you done did. Yeah, like he ain't I, got a wine. I'm having a lot of problems with it also. 